Hi everybody, it's Richard once again. This time I'm doing a video review and comparison of the Sideshow Anakin Skywalker Episode 3 version and the Hasbro <laughs> Episode 3 Anakin Skywalker. So, here are the two culprits. Obviously, this is a Hasbro one. Their head sculpt is pretty much garbage, and this one's been repainted, re-sculpted. You can see his tebar has been replaced. They were this crappy black cloth before. His pants have been replaced. They were black as well. Um, he didn't come with the right lightsaber, so this is one that was taken from another Hasbro figure. It was actually taken from the Hasbro Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's been redone with aluminum tape. But yeah, he's been stripped down, repainted. His head's been re-sculpted slightly. I replaced his hands. I've altered his body a little bit. It, I mean, you know, this. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to get the sideshow figure, so I tried to work with what I had. The one plus, you see, and I'll get to that too, that's the crispy Anakin down there. One plus is that he came with this crispy head, so I'll get to that. But here's the sideshow Anakin figure. I mean, you can al already see there's, you know, just far and above a better figure. All the little pouches on the belt open. And, uh, you know, they all have little gadgets inside. This one's got the communicator. One of them's got a Jedi rebreather or something. I don't know if you can see that in there. I can't really pull it out with one hand here, but... And I think this one's got the uh, little communication device. Or, no, the first one's communication. This is a holographic device. Belt clip for the lightsaber. You can actually clip the lightsaber on. It comes with two sabers, a couple of hands. Um, in fact, he's got two right arms, and I'm going to have trouble getting this guy to stand, but, uh... Yeah, I'm going to hold him. So, yeah, you get two lightsabers, one of them with, with a blade, one without. The sculpt, it's better than the Hasbro, but it's still not perfect. I mean, I don't really see Hayden Christensen in this too much, but, like I said, it's better than the Hasbro one. And I don't know about that lipstick on there. I mean, look at that. I, I seriously need to repaint this head, but uh, you know, this one has actual inner sleeves, which the Hasbro does not, and it's actually got the undershirt and everything that, again, Hasbro does not. The pants are brown, which is proper. The boots, I think, are a little dark on this one. I, I might be wrong, but I don't think the boots are supposed, supposed to be that dark in the film. But this glove is actually a dark brown, which is accurate to the film. I mean, the, the, overall, this one was a much better, much more accurate figure. I'm lay him down. Came with this robe. There's a wire in the hood so you can figure out power. This robe actually came with the Hasbro Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 1. And this, using the extra head from the Hasbro figure, which was actually pretty decent, and the extra arm from the Sideshow figure, I came up with this. It's a it's an old Hasbro body and a bunch of I, I made the outfit and then literally burned it off them. Uh, I, I distressed the body first, painted it up, and this is how he was supposed to look after he was burned alive on Mustafar. You can see, I, yeah, I need to do something about that down there. I actually used the pants that came with him because you can see they're black here, but. Uh, I, I kind of like the way this came out. It looks pretty good. You know, like like people said, it's gruesome in the right ways. But uh, you know, I'm not going to give anything to the Hasbro figure or the Sideshow. The Sideshow takes it all the way. But the Hasbro figure was good for what it was. You know, if you got it cheap, might as well go for it. If not, then you got screwed. And you almost paid enough to get him anyway. But uh, that's it for this one.